up you guys? I'm Brittany Lupton and welcome back to my channel. I am bringing you today's video from the great city of New York. You guys, I don't know what I did to deserve this, but right now I'm in New York City with Nikon. Yes, Nikon, the camera company, because I'm testing out their new camera, the Z30. I am so stoked to bring you along and bring today's entire video from this camera. I'll talk to you a little bit all about it, because I know there's always questions about what camera I use, lenses, all of that. So finally, I can share all of that with you. I'm really stoked about this, you guys, but I also want to say, I know summer's right around the corner, so here are some healthy summer tips to help you get on the right track. Let's hit it and start with number one. The first tip is to have a morning routine. And you may say, I hear this all the time, I don't see the importance, or even I already have one. Well, it's summer, so maybe you wanna add a few things, take a few things out, or change it up. And if you don't already have a morning routine, now is the time to create one. Create something that is realistic to you and that fits in things that you like to do every morning or things that you would like to do every morning. Things that make you excited and happy to wake up and to start the day. I personally love making my bed in the morning, opening up all the curtains and blinds to bring all the sunshine in and it really helps me start my day with fresh air. It grounds me and gets me ready for my day. The second tip is movement. And I mean any kind of movement. A lot of times when we think of health, fitness, or wellness, we can get stuck in that it's all or nothing kind of mentality, when a lot of times that's not the case. A lot of people will think, oh, I need to work out every single day or I'm a failure. But everyone in life needs balance. And the best kind of movement is the kind that you're gonna do. You wanna go on a hot girl walk? Do it. You wanna lift weights or strength train? Do it. You wanna do powerlifting, Pilates, or group fitness classes? Do it. You wanna do a mix of all of that? You can do that too. There is no one way to fitness. There is no one way to move. Do what you enjoy. That way it becomes part of your life and lifestyle. And that is what matters, that you can continuously do whatever movement makes you happy. That way it becomes part of your routine, a habit, and you can be healthy for not only the summer, but for life. Tip number three is to fuel your body. And this one is a tough one because I know everyone watching has a different relationship with food. But this summer, maybe instead of being fearful of food, let's work on overcoming those food fears and trying, keyword, trying, to heal the relationship we have with food. Take small steps every single day. And for others, some are looking to add more nutritious options into their daily meals. And smoothies are always a great starter way to introduce new fruits and veggies into your day. You can easily add spinach into your smoothies. That way you're getting a good leafy green vegetable. You can also add in some Greek yogurt. I personally like to use Greek yogurt. That way I can get, you know, 12 to 15 grams of protein in my smoothie from fruit like antioxidants, all of the vitamins and minerals that you get from fresh fruit is also amazing. So it's an easy and great way to start, especially in the summer, trying to whip up a smoothie or try to add fruit in throughout your day with your breakfast or with your lunch or have that as your snack. I think that those are some great ways that you can start implementing more nutritious options and to help keep your body fueled for the summer and for life. Tip number four is to get ready for the day. Now this may seem something that is small or even silly to some, but legit it makes such a big difference to me. Too often I will sit around and stay in my pajamas or have a really lazy day and just never get ready. On days like that, I naturally feel more lazy. I don't feel as productive. Versus when I do take the time to get ready, I feel that I have a much more productive day and I'm also more confident. And getting ready also includes organizing my day and my to-do list. And tip number five is to be productive and tackle the to-do list. Start your work, start your studies, or whatever you need to do, and stop procrastinating. Okay, you guys, we're back outside, and the last step is to work. This luckily is my job, this is my work, talking about cameras, doing footage, health, fitness, all of it. I seriously, you guys, I get questions all the time about what camera to use, what angles, what tripod, what equipment, microphone, no microphone, what lenses. When I started out, I had all of those questions and I feel like this is gonna be super helpful to just go through a bunch of things, how to even use a camera, all of the tidbits. Okay, so starting off with this camera, this is Nikon's brand new Z30 camera. And there are so many good tidbits when it comes to this. I'm gonna run through a few. First things first, here's a quick little sneak peek at the front and then the back as well as the top. So this camera comes with a kit 
lens. This is the 16 to 50 and you can zoom it out or in, which is nice so you can get a couple different focal lengths. This camera body also can connect to other lenses, which is really fun. So I also shot with the 35 millimeter lens and this is a 1.8. This helps give you a really blurry background as well as the 50. Both of these I usually shoot with in the gym, typically more the 35. So whenever you're like, Britt, what camera do you use? What type of lens do you use? This is the one that I love to use. And then here is the 50 millimeter lens. So both of these can go right on the camera body. I'll even show you how to pop it off. So there's a button right here that you can press and then you'll turn this and it comes right off. Then you'll grab your other lens. Let's do the 35 and I'll show you. Just take this little part off the bottom. I don't lift weights. <laughs> okay, now that I got it off. So there's gonna be a white dot on this lens and you'll see a white dot on the camera body as well right here. So all you're gonna do is line them up and you'll need to press that little side button again. Line up the dots and you'll twist. Oh, well, this can come off. And voila, now you have a brand new camera. You got a great camera body as well as the lens. So I personally think that that's what makes this camera really versatile is that you can interchange lenses. For the gym, again, I like the really tight shots. Even sometimes when I do a talking head, that shot is with more of a 35, so I'm in focus and what's behind me is blurred. But then when I'm vlogging, I need something that has a wider depth. So when I'm walking around, you can see everything and it's not just like super close. This is way too far to my face, if that makes sense. You know what I mean. You don't wanna be seeing all of that, you guys. When you vlog, you wanna see more. So it's cool that you can mix out and trade out a couple of those lenses. So I'm gonna put the kit lens back on and there we go. Can we talk about how small and compact this is together? It is so nice. You can fit this in your little purse and it's also pretty lightweight. Something else that I want to mention about this camera is this is a front facing swivel. So this basically, you can turn the screen. Okay, if you like just buy it, it looks like this, right? And then or you can take out the screen, turn it that way when you're looking at it, you have this whole background. I'll show you so that you can see what's on it. Let me take this out so you can see. There you go. Look, you're looking at my shoulder. Right there, you can even see a difference between super wide. Hold on, let's see if you get the lighting. You can see super wide, and then you can zoom in. So it's really cool that even the kit lens has a good option. Great for vlogging, that way you have some options when you're out and about vlogging like this for B-roll or vlogging like this, or even at the gym if you want wider shots, this is gonna be awesome. Oh, something else to mention about this screen is it's touch screen. So you can just touch and toggle everything on the back. It is super easy. And probably one of the best things about this camera is, go away fly, is that when you hit record, you'll see a little button here. So look, you see that? Now you know you're recording versus now you're not recording. I can't tell you how many times I am in the middle of filming a video and I never hit record, okay? So now I never have the issue because if I'm recording, I see a little red dot right next to my camera like this. And now I know I'm recording. And then if I'm not recording, you gotta look for the red dot. I think that's so awesome when it comes to a camera. I can't tell you, especially in the gym. You guys, do I wanna be doing an extra set? No, I do not. I do not wanna be doing an extra set of anything. So I need to see the red record button going. Also, it's just nice because you don't wanna miss any shots or have to refilm or shoot anything, whatever you're doing. Let's talk about everything that it comes with. There is a special creator kit that's made for you, for me, all of us who like to create. So I'm gonna put on the microphone, which comes with it. I think this is a really cool package. I feel like when I first started out, I didn't know what to buy, what to use. There's so many options. And then a lot of the videos out there are very hard to understand. I'm like, I don't know what any of this terminology means. What do you mean when you're saying sensor, crop sensor, light exposure like why can't i just have a camera turn it on and hit record and go i feel like that is like the most fundamental basic when anyone's trying to get into any type of camera work when you want to upgrade from a phone this though this is so awesome for beginners i feel like it's one where you can just turn it on and shoot you can start shooting this does really well in low light settings it does a great job adjusting it has super quick autofocus so for example, that's if I'm moving around, you know, in my workout, it can just focus on me quickly. It's not like trying to focus on the branches behind me or try to focus on something else. This camera also has a mode where you can go to AF area mode and it'll show you can autofocus on people or you can autofocus on things like products. For example, if you're somebody who likes to show things like, let me show you my new camera lens, it'll automatically focus on that. So the creator's kit comes with 
the camera body, the 16 to 15 millimeter lens, the Rode mic, which is this little fuzzy guy up here, and the tripod grip and remote. Okay, let's talk about two things that I haven't talked about, the mic. The audio on this camera is okay, but when you add a microphone, your audio goes from here, Right now, I'm not using a mic. I'm curious how it sounds. Is it picking up more things? Can you hear me as clearly? This is without a mic versus having a mic plugged in. So hopefully you were able to hear the difference between having one and not. It is awesome that this like bundle comes with camera and a microphone that is massive. And the last thing I wanna talk about is the tripod and remote. You don't have to like untwirl the tripod like this. There is a thing here that you unscrew just like that. It is so nice, this is small and compact. It's cool because you can use this as a grip so you're just holding it like that or the legs also break out so your camera can sit on it. And you guys, it comes with a remote, okay? I don't know about you. Again, most of my stuff is gym, fitness, you know what I mean. I set up my camera and then I have to like mark where I'm gonna be in the shot, okay? Do you know how handy this remote is gonna be? Do you know how handy this is gonna be? I'm in the middle of the gym floor. Okay, can you just imagine me running over, hitting like start and stop, whereas now I can just hit record and stop record. I think that is the coolest thing ever and it sits handy in your little remote. I love that. So honestly, I feel like this is a perfect beginner camera kit for anybody out there who's trying to shoot content, create content. Honestly, even if you're a family person and you want a good family camera, this is gonna be awesome for you to document those memories on. It is easy to use, it is lightweight. You can put it in your bag, your purse, your gym bag, wherever, and take it with you. Okay, you guys, we've talked a lot about the camera. I wanna show you some behind the scenes of the house. I wanna show you what we've been doing with Nikon here. It is so much fun being here. I honestly am so grateful to even be included and thought of to be a part of what's going on here. It has been so incredibly amazing. So let's meet some of the crew, let's meet other creators, let's chat, have a ball, and I'll show you some fun things that this camera can do. Take one. I'll be there. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Falling down. <laughs> yeah, no, you're good. Bend your elbow. I get what you're going for. All right, you guys, now let's head upstairs and make our post-workout smoothie. Okay, you guys, behind the scenes, I'm shooting a little bit more, putting all the vegetables and fruits into these cute cups. Look at these strawberries. These are from New York. Okay, cool. So, like, I'm just narrating. What inspires you to, what inspires me to da 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 Okay. I'm very yeah. informal, so I'm just like, you guys, I no, love, this that's what you want. Exactly right. Okay, here we go. Thanks, Kenny. Thanks, Kenny. Tip three, four, fuel your body. Lunch break. Take five. I think it's using her smoothie as a tripod. I am using smoothie as a tripod, but we have a great tripod, so. <laughs> what did you order? I got chicken. What do you got? I got a mid bite. You got tuna steak, mm -hmm. some salad. You got it yesterday. Is it good? Same as yesterday. It is very good. Okay. Please say hello. I officially introduced myself. Oh, hi. Time. I'm Catherine. Catherine Manning on YouTube. Yes. yes. Beauty. Beauty in person. Beauty on her channel. Thank you. <laughs> Stop being so nice. <laughs> you guys, where do the gamers live? <laughs> Me. I have a way to do in my dungeon down here. No, but seriously, it's really pretty in here. There's a lot of lights. I haven't been to the basement. This is what we do. I, I just heard your footsteps coming, so I figured it was a good time. Mel, welcome to the crib. Welcome to the crib. So, uh, a tour. we got lots of lights in here. We got uh, some more Z30s so if you want to have like a Z30 party. Yeah, or whatever, yeah. Fam. Um, we got some more RGBs. Wow. Uh, this setup. Wait, Roy G. Mitt. Roy G. Mitt is the rainbow. Isn't I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. I don't science, so I'm into that. Like, everybody's into science these days. Yeah, we're just doing my thing down here. How, how's everything going upstairs? Are you like Living. teaching people how to like be like fit and stuff? I would yeah. like I would like to be part of that. Yeah. yeah, I would love to be part of that. No, we just uh, we just got done sweating over here. So lots of dance shots. Look at that. We got people over here watching us go crazy. So That's uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna lost seven pounds on this trip. Low key, it's a good day. It's a good it's day. Good time. Yeah, NYC Nikon baby.
Let's do it. Wait, you have to introduce yourself. Oh, I'm Jordan, uh, aka Legion, with a Q. The O is a Q. It's weird. Uh, Legion with a Q. Yeah, I'm back here. Now we're all, look how good the lighting is right here. I know, the lighting Crazy. is good. We're going bonkers. You're down There's in so the basement? so much fast movement. I feel like, I, like maybe I'm the fitness person. There you go. This is crazy. Like, it's catching my eyes. It's all Oh, sweet. someone's it's coming, sweet. emerging! No, Who no. is it? <laughs> it's Kylie! Kylie! <laughs> When you can do pull-ups, find a pull bar, have a sudden urge to try, see if I can do one. All right, tripod, let's see what you made of. I'm scared it's gonna Girl, still got it. <laughs> I'm telling you, we should all move in what a circle. Do we do <laughs> like, we're wait, wait, what direction are we going? We're going like this. Way. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Brittany, of course, Brittany wants to move the most. <laughs> I like. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. I don't care we're anymore. Literally just <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> Here's the challenge. Everyone has to try and do a pistol squat. Okay. This is. Are you ready? My back is great. Two. Three. Ah, how? I can't how? Do this right now. <laughs> you guys that's everything in today's video i hope you liked it if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to my channel give this video a big thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one bye